Okay, what I have today is a Garmin uh, GPS Map 64S. And I want to get an aerial photo on this where I can take out in the field and find my location uh, on the aerial photo. Like if there's a thinning block, uh, I can go with the GPS with the aerial photo on that to that exact location because it'll be, you know, a different cover type show up quite a bit different than just a regular old paper map that's got nothing but lines on it. So I'm just going to show you a quick little demonstration how I get the aerial photo on this. I've got it connected to the computer with a USB cable. So that gives me connectivity to the online storage. So now I've got, I'm, I'm in Google Earth and I want to get an aerial photo off of this. And in order to do that, I have to take a snapshot of this view here. This is of my woodlot, for instance. So I take a snapshot by going under File and Save, Save Image. So that's going to take a snapshot of that area, and then I'll save it, say, under Woodlot, under my Garmin device. And there's a folder in there called Garmin. And then under that is custom maps. So in, in the folder custom maps, I've named it Woodlot JPEG. So it goes in there. Now what I want to do is I have to register that so that when I have that on the GPS displayed, it will be in the precise location or close enough type of thing. Um, so in order to register that, I have to make an image overlay in Google Earth. So I go under Add, Image Overlay, and I'm going to name it Woodlot, this overlay. And I have to link to that photograph that I took a snapshot of, which was Woodlot, on the uh, Garmin itself, it's stored in that folder. Uh, Garmin custom maps. So click that and I have to adjust the opacity here so I can see both layers. So I just move this slider bar over. It's this thing here. I'm moving it halfway or a little more. And what I have to do is move that window or uh, Yes, this is going to move it to one side out of view so I can actually see Google. And it looks a little blurry. It's overlaid on top of Google Earth there now. So I'm just going to zoom out. And you'll see all these green marks. That helps you adjust the image to correspond to the Google Earth uh, image that's sitting in the software. So basically this is an overlay on top of Google Earth now. And these little corners move, as you can see, and, and there's opacities adjusted. So you can see the layer below so you can line everything up. I may have to adjust that border there a little bit. But you can do, you can turn it this device will actually rotate the image that you've got a snapshot of. And pull that over there, see that yellow lines up with that yellow type of thing. And the actual road right there is somewhat down the road. just takes adjusting this. I've already done this earlier and I actually have this lined up pretty good. But this is what it takes anyway. You have to use these little drag icons over in the corners of it to move your image to the right scale. And that's pretty much close right there. I might have to adjust it a little bit more in like that and up a little bit more like that on the bottom. Comes 
You can play around with that and get pretty precise where you want to have it. Just move all these little tabs. But the key is to keep that uh, other screen to one side while you're working because when you close that, this disappears. So anyway, that's pretty good right there. And so, you would just bring this back over and just go click OK on it. And then, so you've got the JPEG on your garment. Now you have to put the actual overlay, which is a KMZ or KML file, they call it. You would right click on the item in this list here of your layers Woodlot is the one that we just added as an image overlay. It will have a little icon there. It looks like one image laying over top of the other. And you just click on the right mouse button. And you would just add it to uh, save place as. And it's Woodlot KMZ. That's under the Garmin custom maps within your Garmin GPS. So again, that tells the photograph where it's supposed to display when you're out GPS. So anyway, I've already done that. And basically it's all on here. Now I can just take this, unplug it, and turn this on. And it should come up. photo on there and I can just scroll around with these bars on this rocker switch once it uh, loads the GPS up here. zoom in so far and then it'll come up and you can see it on there right now. I'll zoom in some more. It's got that pinned location of that big yellow birch tree. It's right there and that's actually right on the edge of the woodlot. And this road right here lines up with a digitized era photo road. Pretty not exactly right on, but pretty close. Close enough for most people's needs, because it's just to get you to that location to, to start, say, marking out a perimeter for a thinning or something like that. You can see the different cover type changes on here. And uh, it's pretty neat, anyway. I've never seen any video online of actually putting their photos on there like that. I've seen them doing paper maps, but not these area photos. And it's, you wouldn't want to do it on a lot of them, but if you just had one or two that you wanted to do and uh, put them on there, then that would be great. But you don't want to do large volumes of them. Not this way, anyway. And I've tried using bird's eye. They have aerial photos there, but they're not very uh, good quality, and they're old and very grainy, so you can't really see much. Not in my area, anyway. There might be some areas of the country that they have better photographs within bird's eye and on the Garmin uh, base camp software, but in my case, there, there isn't. So I went to Google Earth and uh, worked pretty good.